Hey y'all, I'm Paula the, I mean, Trebo Ilya. Today, we're going to make gay soup. That's right, you heard me right, gay soup. All right, so I want to make a soup because I am wearing my aligners again and trying to get my smile back to where it was. I feel like I was more confident smiling. That's just me. And my mouth really hurts when I have the aligners in and these particular ones, like I got my wisdom teeth taken out since. So they kind of like rub on my tongue and this and that. They kind of hurt. So I want something a little easier to eat throughout the day. Um, at lunch especially. Something easy to eat, something I can just warm up and eat. Um, that's easy on my mouth. I can take it out, <laughs> brush my teeth afterwards, and put my liners back in. So, today, we're making gay soup. That's right, you heard it right, gay soup. <laughs> yes, God, God. Now, you may be wondering, what makes it gay, right? What makes this soup gay? Well, for starters, you need colorful carrots, colorful potatoes, and you need some fresh herbs from your garden. These are just the tops of some chives, you know, just some chives from the garden. So you need that, that's essential. It needs to be from your garden. That's what makes it gay as well. You can go to the store and get some herbs that you don't have in your garden. So we have some Italian parsley, okay? And then of course, you know what? You need the celery. It's the gayest thing in the whole soup, okay? You need the celery. I love it. These are the uh, veggies and roots that are going in. Then we have some bay leaves going in just to really flavor up the soup. It'll be delicious. And you know what? I'm taking a shortcut, so I'm just adding some broth. This is 32 ounces, which I believe is four quarts. Um, I, I think it's enough. Yeah, four cups, four quarts, whatever. I don't know. Oh, my secret ingredient, crushed red pepper flakes. Oh, I'm adding garbanzo beans. Kathy B, thank you for suggesting the soup. I was like, light bulb, duh, and I just wanted to make a soup. And it's easy, I'm using the broth, so you know, you, you can add some chicken. I just didn't have any like cooked chicken around and um, I'm okay with it being kind of vegetarian. I already eat so much meat, I'm okay with one thing being vegetarian. Well, okay, this is literally chicken broth, but I needed some more protein in here um, along with the garbanzo beans, so. All right, y'all, we have our potatoes that might add color to the soup, but it'll kind of be like borscht, so it'll take me back to my childhood. <laughs> and then we have the beautiful rainbow carrots, the celery, I just kind of took the parsley leaves off and then I'll cut this later, just the chives from the garden. All right, y'all, I'm about to show you all the cut vegetables. And you thought I was gonna do this without a certain ingredient? Y'all thought I was gonna do, I was gonna make this soup without onions and garlic? You thought? Gotcha. It does say to just do one tablespoon for the recipe, but I have a few more, more ingredients than it said, and like I don't have chicken or anything, so, and I added more veggies instead of the chicken. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of oil. And now we add all the veggies in all the potatoes, all the carrots, all those rainbow veggies, and of course the gayest thing in the soup, the celery. You gotta add the celery. And we are going to hold off on the two herbs as well as the garlic, but I'll explain the garlic later. And now I am seasoning my vegetables with salt and pepper, making sure to season every layer. And as you can see, I'm adding the garlic in now. The vegetables have been cooking for about six minutes. They have two minutes left and I added the garlic in. And I waited until the last two minutes because I like my garlic. Garlic. And now when the bottoms are nice and caramelized, we add the zebra. I would have added two quarts or eight cups just so I had a little more broth to sip on, but that's okay. It was still delicious. And now our goal is to basically deglaze the pan. Get all those bits at the bottom. So now we just have to bring this to 
bring this to a boil and then let it simmer for about 10 minutes or so until the vegetables are tender. All right, so I was able to get this up to a boil and now what I'm doing is I'm letting it cook on low for 10 minutes. And I, the reason why I added the chives in right now is because the chives that we have in the backyard are a little hardier, hardier than usual. So I'm gonna let them cook with the vegetables and then I will add the parsley in along with the, we don't have lemon juice, but I'm, I'm just gonna add a little bit of lime juice just for a little bit of acid in here. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of lime juice. And I just put the lid on just to let it, you know, get nice and in there, you know, when the lid is on. That's what I'm gonna let it do. And then I will, uh, yes, when I have two minutes left on my timer, I will add the parsley and the lime juice and you'll see me doing that. Alrighty, so admittedly I forgot to add the bay leaves, but there they are. I added the parsley right now. The timer is done, but I'm going to add this stuff in right now. And two. Okay. Now let's mix it all up and see what we get. Okay, I'm just gonna try the broth really quickly. I like that lemon juice. The lime juice, sorry, I keep saying that. Salty enough. I don't taste the bay leaf yet, but that's my fault. I'm gonna let it just like chill and, um, under the pot right now. I'm sure the vegetables will be cooked. I'm just going to leave it to simmer because it is, it's still 528. Jared and I can eat at six. And actually I'm going to add the garbanzo beans right now. I'll show that, I'll show that right now. All right, y'all, so another characteristic of gay soup is that it has to be thick. So, lots of protein as well. Okay, so we don't have meat in here, but we do have the garbanzo beans. Yes, booty booties, we're gonna have nice and oh, tender root vegetables. And um, the bay leaf will just, you know, flavor this soup so deliciously, so, so hyper palatable. And this is the end result, a beautiful brothy but hearty soup. We put some cheese on top. It was delicious, fresh, herby, hearty, filling. And you know what? Jared made some red lobster cheddar biscuits and I had four of them and they were de-fucking-licious. This is pretty damn good. Thank you, Treehouse Mates.